okay, we can represent population numbers on graphs. And we actually get two types of population graphs. And this is the first one, exponential growth or the geometric growth, also called, if we look at the shape, the J curve. Right. What you have to know is um, first identify the phases. You also have to know why the growth is slow at the beginning and then why there is such a rapid increase and also the types of organisms that form these type of um, gym or growth patterns. So here you can see we have a lag phase and we have an exponential growth phase, which is a rapid increase. And if we look at, if you're going to look at numbers, then you will see that time here can be anything as in days or even as in hours, which means that this is significant of microorganisms that take uh, or can increase rapidly within a very short um, time. And then we go to, and there you can see your two phases that we've spoken about. Growth is slow, population is small, which means it takes time to increase. And then all of a sudden there is, and if you look at bacteria that you've done last year, you know that under favorable conditions that bacteria can reproduce every 20 mm. minutes. So think about if you have one and within a few hours, you can have mm. thousands of it. Yeah, um, I remember there's a classic experiment where they used fruit flies to um, illustrate this process. As you said, colon bacteria, insects tend to have this. And th these are what we call the R strategy organisms. Those that grow, where the populations grow fast, but then there can be a dramatic fall if the environmental resistance is too much. Now, the environmental resistance, in other words, the availability of food, water, living space, may be an increase in disease. And then you will have a crush in population numbers and a fall, and they may start all over again.